Hello internet friends, I am back and today I'm doing a Shen haul and I went a little dramatic as you can probably tell by the first outfit. How amazing is this dress? Wow. I'm not sure if this is going to get a good reception or not but um, yeah I decided to choose some kind of slightly different things this time. Um, I'm really excited to see what reaction I'm getting. I basically went a little more confident than I normally would. And so I chose this dress and oh my god. Let me like really get a look on so you can see. This dress is beautiful. It's covered in flowers, like kind of stitched on. Beautiful. It has this kind of rooch chest area, a design here, and then it's like kind of short. Let me stand up so you can um, see the full effect. I feel like I should be at a renaissance fair in the best possible way. What do you think? Ignore my socks. Should I kneel down? I'll kneel down. <laughs> I really should take these socks off, shouldn't I? I feel like they're kind of ruining the moment. <laughs> Okay, I'll do that at least for you. That feels like a reasonable request. There we go. What do you think? Do you like it? I have never ever chosen something so extra in my life, but as soon as I put it on, I did feel like very sassy. You know, it makes me feel very, very sassy. I'm not sure where I would wear this. Um, maybe for like a meal out, if I was going somewhere really fancy, perhaps. I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm obsessed with it. Um, let me like have a bit of so you can see the detail more. As you can kind of see, the pattern is stunning. But I'm not sure like what reaction I would have um, if I saw somebody walk in to wear dress like this. I'd be like probably like, wow, they're really stylish and cool. But the thing is, I don't feel like I am very stylish and cool, so I don't know if I can pull something like this off. But maybe I don't know. Let me know. And as is always the age-old question with anything I buy like this, should the sleeves go like this? I feel like, no. I don't like the sleeves as much like this. I feel like this, they look great. Obviously, you could probably wear it any way you wanted. But I'm going to choose to wear it like this, because I like it. I also bought something else in the exact same fabric. Please don't judge me. Let me just show you, and you tell me what you think. Next up we have... And yes, I realise that this is very similar to the last thing I was wearing. Same material. Slightly different design. I'm not sure if this bra is the right bra to be wearing with this, but this I love a lot. The sleeves are extremely dramatic. I'm sorry I'm having to like kind of hold it right now. I think it's because I'm wearing it wrong. Is it this? Okay, yeah, I think it's that. <laughs> I'm proving in this episode of any doing whatever the hell anybody wants that I'm really not good at knowing how clothes are supposed to be worn because I've immediately put that up and it's obvious that this is how I'm supposed to wear it. But I love it. It's exactly the same material. You're probably able to pick up the design slightly better now. Amazing. Love it. Love it. And then it has a little matching skirt with it. Um, I kind of like how the skirt is like a skin tight skirt. As the other dress was kind of like more like bloaty and dramatic. Which is great. But um, I think I do prefer this one because it is a little more symbol. Yeah, I really like this. And the next thing is basically just, it's hard to explain, let me show you. Okay, so next we have this very cute, but maybe a little too big for me, um, all-in-one romper suit. Um, I really like this, it's kind of a shame. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous, the fit is amazing, at the top it's perfect, um, but there's kind of a slightly <laughs> A slight issue around my like fupa. Is that what they call it? My fupa. Feels right. Um yeah, if it's really well at the top, it's basically shorts on the bottom part. It's supposed to be skin tight for sure, but I don't know. It's not like it's terribly fitting at all. I think if you were a size larger than me and you bought this exact same outfit, it would probably fit really, really well, but um when I sit down, I'm not too sure um, how I feel about that part. I could probably pull it in with like a stitch at the back, maybe. Or just like tie it with like, maybe with a cut around my waist. To be honest with you, when I bought this, I wasn't 100% sure anyway. It was kind of going out there for me. I don't know if I'm the kind of person that can pull off this stuff. And definitely the crotch area is looking really strange right now. But I um, I tend to run very small in like clothes. And so this is a fairly common issue for me. Um, if you are not, if you're just like 
uh, average size, standard size, and you buy this, I imagine it will look perfect on your curves. I imagine it will be flawless and 10 out of 10, but I don't know if it's working for me. And also, how do people feel about these like all-in-one short combinations? Are they good? Is this good? Do you like this? Yeah, you do. It's great. It's amazing. It's 10 out of 10. Okay, this was nice, but the next thing is really, really nice. So let me show you that because I'm very happy with the next thing. Oh my God, my crotch. And in the famous words of Monty Python, now for something completely different. Um, this was an interesting one for me. Um, I don't think I have ever owned anything like this. It came as a two piece. So it's like just a pair of flared, why is my foot so pale? Don't look at my foot. A pair of simple flared trousers. They're kind of like office trousers, I would say to me. They're not, um, I don't know if I would wear them for a night out or anything, but they're probably perfect for the office. They kind of have a nice like high waist, which I love. The top is definitely the interesting part. I wish I knew who chose to pair this top with these trousers. I don't think I would ever personally pair this top with these trousers, but I do love the top and I do like the trousers. But to me, it seems like a very going out top with a pair of nice office trousers. An interesting combination. I will be wearing both, but not together. I think I'll be pairing this top with like a red skirt, like a red maxi skirt, a floor length red skirt. I feel will be like a very nice vibe for this. This will be very good. I don't know. What do you think? Is it good? Is it bad? This has been like, obviously I pushed myself out there. I think I've tried some different things. I love the first dress. I love the second outfit. I wish the other outfit, fit, the third outfit were better. This one I do really like. I'm just not sure if I'll wear it. I hope I do. Let me show you the next one. Next we have this, which I love. This is like my favorite thing that arrived out of this order. It's a little matching pair of shorts with a little crop top. Um, and it has a naked lady on, 10 out of 10. Um, some plants, 10 out of 10. And the phrase, my body, my choice, which I agree with, 10 out of 10. Um, so yeah, I really, really like this. I think it's a nice fit. Um, when I ordered it, I didn't actually realize it said my body, my choice on it. I thought it was just naked ladies and plants, which is very much my vibe. But um, I don't disagree with the message. It is my body and it is my choice. If I choose to drink tea, I choose to drink tea. Ugh, the tea has gone cold. It was a wrong choice. <laughs> But yeah, um, I really, really like this. Um, I think it's really well fitting. I really like how the top has like a square aspect. Normally I wear the tops are like that. Good Lord, this is smooshing some stuff together right now. But yeah, um, I do really like this. I think this is like a perfect, just simple summer outfit. And it also kind of gives me like retro vibes. You know, it reminds me of like um, the swimsuits that women used to wear in like maybe the 1960s. I think that's the right time frame. I could be totally wrong. Please correct me if I am wrong. I'm sure somebody will. It's YouTube. People love to... Well, we all know what it's like on the internet. But yeah, um, please correct me if I'm wrong. I do really like this though. I think it's really, really, really nice. Um, 10 out of 10, maybe, actually, for this. I really like it. Um, two more crop tops I would like to show you. Okay, next we have this crop top that might be my favorite thing from the haul so far. Um, it's kind of like a slightly off pink color and it has pom-poms on it. Need I say more? Surely not. We all love pom-poms. We all love pom-poms. I refuse to hear anything to the contrary. Um, yeah, I really like this. It's like silk. I really like the tie aspect at the front. Um, the colour is like, it is mostly like kind of like a white colour, but there's just like a slightly pinkness to it, which I really like. And I really like the pom-poms. The pom-poms are very cool, I think. It should be the back. The back is just a simple design. I think the sleeves are obviously the best thing about this top. I'd say sleeves. The straps, the straps are the best thing about this top. But the material is extremely high quality, and I really like how the tie looks. I would probably just pair this with a pair of jeans, to be honest with you. Just a pair of jeans, a pair of high heels and good to go for like brunch. I realize that most of my plans revolve around eating, but most of my life revolves around eating. So my outfits are going to kind of align with that belief. Now let me show you the final top, which is amazing, I think, but I don't know what you will think. We will see. 
Well, well, well. If it isn't the top of my dreams, but I don't know how other people will feel. I love this top. As soon as I saw it, I was like, wow, they really found an innovative, new, original way to show off boobs. So I thought, let's give it a go. Let's try it. Um, this top is like, there's a top layer. Ooh, the tag is still in the top. Let me just move that away so you don't have to look at it. Yeah, the top is like a top, obviously, um, with long sleeves. And then there are two wraparound bits, which you wrap around your chest to tie at the back. I love it. I love this design so much. I like how I'm wearing a turtleneck, but my boobs are out. I like how my hands are covered, but my torso is out. There has never been something less practical designed, and I am incredibly a big fan of it. I love it. I have no idea where I'm going to wear this. No idea. Probably just coffee shops, day to day. I, if I was like, I would probably just wear this to like uni if I went to uni. Maybe that would be inappropriate. And I am also like nearly 30 years old, so I'm. Well, adult education is a thing. Perhaps I will rejoin uni and I will wear this. Yeah, I really like it. And if you're wondering, Amy, what is the design on the top? Sweet child, I have no idea, but I will show you. We can try and work it out together. I think it's ram's heads. Ram's skulls? With little heart. What's the message? I don't know. Ram struggles to fall in love. Maybe just skulls and hearts. Probably just skulls and hearts. But yeah, I actually really like this. And I like how it covers my hands. Because if you have been watching for a while, you will know I dislike my hands a lot. I feel like I have the hands of an old crone. A crow. A succubus. I don't know, I'm not a fan. So this is great, because this kind of allows me to hold my, hide my hands, makes me feel more like a video game character. I'm a big fan. I have got to stop. Cold tea is incredibly underwhelming. But yeah, um, that was all of the items. I Let me know which was your favorite, let me know which was your least favorite, and most importantly, please like and subscribe. If you like and subscribe, I will try to commit to doing one or two videos a week. If you do not like and subscribe, I will lose motivation and disappear for a month and then return with an apology. Nobody wants that. I don't think. <laughs>